Well, 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 well. Donald Trump, the flip-flopper. He backs down and signs the $600 slap in the face to Americans. Yes, he called it a disgrace. What was it, three days ago? It's a disgrace to slap Americans in the face with a $600 insult. Of course it's an insult. Every country from India to Pakistan to Timbuktu is getting $666 billion in a so-called stimulus package to help Americans. But somehow the foreigners got $666 billion. Uh, Donald Trump called it an insult. I called it a slap in the face to Americans. He said he was not going to sign it. And lo and behold, he backs down like a little sissy and signs it. Does this surprise anybody? It doesn't surprise me at all. The man doesn't have any backbone to stand up for Americans. He says, I'm not going to sign it unless you give Americans $2,000. Yeah, right, you little sissy backstabber. Go golfing on your Second-rate Bush League golf courses in Florida as Americans starve to death. But let me tell you, for as little as a dollar sixty-six per day, you can sponsor a poor American six hundred dollars. Slap in the face, you can help. Yes, people of America, senators and congressmen, put your hands out and give Americans a six hundred dollar stimulus package. For as little as a dollar sixty-six, you can make a difference. You can help out, Congressman. Now go home to your mansion and kick your dog and pat your millionaire wife on the ass and get the hell out of my life, you silly bastards. And one last thing before I let you see the... Will the real Anthony Quinn Warner please stand up? Before we find out the real picture of Anthony, because there was a fake picture of Anthony going around making the rounds on the internet. Does anybody find it strange that right after the AQ Warner situation in Nashville, right after that warning, Donald Trump signs the $600 slap in the face stimulus package. Does anybody find that peculiar and weird? Because I don't. They scared the shit out of Trump. He just wants to go and do his little golfing till the end of his days. Forget about Americans. They can survive on $600 because I got my billionaire towers and my golf courses. Yeah, I'll be glad when Trump is gone. Okay, we got a little update here. Apparently, this might not be Anthony. Anthony Quinn Warner. We don't know who this is. Maybe they just tried to embarrass Trump. They found this guy who's a Trump lover. I don't really know why they're trying to embarrass this guy or if he is even Anthony Warner. But here's a new picture. Apparently, this is Anthony Quinn Warner. So I don't know who the hell this guy is. I don't even know if he even existed. For all I know, you know, you can exist. You can create a persona on the internet today in about two seconds. And you can probably make up somebody's, pay somebody to be his mother. And who knows? They, they, can cre they can create anything they want nowadays with this internet world. So here's the question. Is this the real Anthony? Or is this the real Anthony Quinn Warner? Would the real Anthony please stand? Well, no, he can't stand up because he's been blown to be. <laughs> blown to be I'm sorry. It's nothing to joke about. So here's a question I have. Okay, we know the police and the FBI, they supposedly found his mother and they went and had a DNA test. They said, hey, mom, we think your son's been blown to pieces. Can we have a little DNA? And, you know, mom, mom, you know, it's probably 80 years old. Mom's going to agree to it. If, in fact, they had mom's DNA yesterday, why was his photo not released yesterday why is it that the authorities and the police and the FBI and the CIA and the KGB and the Mossad, why is it a big secret what this guy looks like? Did he even exist? Is this all some sort of fantasy? I don't know. What do you think?
Okay, there's a picture that's just starting to go viral throughout the World Wide Web. They claim that this is Anthony Quinn Warner. He's wearing a Donald Trump hat. So the question is today, what is today? Sunday, December 27th, 2020. Is this the real Anthony Quinn Warner? That is the question. What is not the question is the 5G fear that he had. Apparently, the real Anthony Quinn Warner had IT jobs in the Nashville, Tennessee area. He was alarmed with 5G. Uh, apparently, he wanted to make a statement. Uh, another question is, was he groomed for this? Was he pushed along for this? Were there handlers involved with this? Of course, there's a million questions, but really, I'm just putting this up there today. Is this the real Anthony Quinn Warner? And is that your real name? And did you even exist? So many questions and not enough answers right now.